This is Milan of So Natural Wellness, and if you've been following my videos, I've been doing a lot of videos on healthy living 50 and beyond. So today's video title is How to Reverse Being Pre-Diabetic in Ways That You Can Reverse It. So a lot of us for years were uh, taught that um, sugar can cause diabetes and basically just make it worse. And for years, that's what I grew up thinking and you know people that I've known and and uh, and people and just hearing about it through family that have had or have diabetes now so in my videos I talk a lot about the digestive system and how the body works and really listen to your body and getting in tune with your body listen to the language of your body that's my mo so if you follow many of my health videos and um, rather be on YouTube or Facebook you'll see there's a common theme. It's all about how your body works because I realize that everyone's body, their lifestyle is completely different. So I'm Milana So Natural Wellness, health, healthy lifestyle consult, healthy life. <laughs> I don't even know who I am sometimes, but I'm a culinary nutrition and wellness coach. So in this video, I really want to help you to see exactly what it is diabetes is and how it um, can be reversed in the body. So what happens during digestion is that um, carbohydrates are broken down in the body. And these are rather simple carbohydrates or complex carbohydrates. So they're broken down in the body and it becomes glucose and it goes through the bloodstream um, for energy. And it becomes sugar, which is sustained, sustained energy or quick energy. Now with a healthy person, what happens is uh, the hormone insulin that goes through the pancreas is regulated through the blood sugar levels and it's always going up and down based on what we're eating you know it's either up or it's either down um, so this uh, carries the sugar to the cells for energy so you know how you get that that slump during certain parts of the day so in a healthy person that's what generally happens you either get this slump or you get this high based on how the hormone is behaving in your body. Now with a person who has diabetes, the insulin does not produce enough um, or it's not functioning properly, this insulin hormone. So instead of um, passing from the blood to the body and then the cells, this glucose builds up in their body and then the excess goes to the kidneys and the kidneys have to work a lot harder and since the kidneys, it um, makes the kidneys uh, behave in an unbalanced way. What happens is over a period of time, it causes damage to the kidneys, and which is why, you know, a lot of people suffer fr from uh, the loss of their uh, vision or circulatory problems or nervous system problems, um, you know, heart disease, um, problems to their kidneys. Now, in a person who is type one. There's two different types. There's diabetes type one, diabetes type two. So someone with diabetes type one, their insulin level has basically been destroyed. So those cells are no longer um, producing what is necessary for that person to give them the right amount of energy that they need or for their body to function at their peak. Now somebody with type two diabetes tend to be, um, uh, when you really think about it, this is preventable because a lot of the factors are based on, um, and the risks are based on being overweight, uh, inactivity, uh, and that could be about 20, 30 pounds. It really doesn't take a lot to tip the scale to go into being overweight from being a healthy size. And inactivity, your lifestyle, so there are a lot of factors that can push you into that category of becoming diabetic, or being uh, having di diabetes type two. So now the best way to really control it is what I talk a lot about in my videos is really lifestyle is, um, you know, increasing your activity levels, not being so sedentary. And if you notice in some of my videos, I'm not doing a lot of strenuous activity. A lot of my videos, you may find me walking because I really enjoy walking, but I don't walk at a slow pace. I always walk at a very brisk pace. So activity levels, your lifestyle, your, um, 
your weight management, how you're weight, managing your weight. You know, if you get to a certain point on the scale, are you pulling back? Um, not necessarily pulling back in what you eat, but recognizing that how you're eating could be a major factor in, you know, how you, um, how you have, if you have a healthy lifestyle or not. And at times, you're ins you may have to take insulin sometimes, but I really want you to learn how to control, um, be in control of your body and how it responds and uh, to live a healthy lifestyle. And sometimes you just may need emotional support just to get going, to get that boost and to get that motivation that you need to prevent and reverse certain conditions. Now the sad thing about it, um, and I wanna put this disclaimer in here, I'm not a doctor. I cannot give you medical advice. Um, if you have a serious disease or illness, you should really talk to your doctor, consult with your doctor first. If you need support of an alternative, then I'm here. So this is my um, this is my call to you today. If you feel you need support, if you feel that you need support in your lifestyle, if you feel that you need support in living a healthy lifestyle, um, being more active, or just um, that emotional support to to really get control of your body, to help you to start listening to your body, to make sure that the lifestyle that you are living is conducive for your particular life, since everyone's life is different. So at the end of this video, I'm going to include a link to my website and you can schedule an appointment on my calendar so that we can get on a phone call and just have a chat to see exactly where you are now and where is that you would like to go. So as I mentioned, I am Milan Perry of So Natural Wellness. I'm your culinary nutrition and wellness coach and I work with individuals who are at a point in their life where they need support, they need help in how to reduce those, those 20, 20 to 30 pounds that have pushed them into the level of being unhealthy. And now they just want to feel good again in their body. So if that's you, I look forward to speaking with you soon. Until our next time together, stay beautiful and healthy. If you love this video and you enjoyed the points, the takeaways from it, I want you to go on and click on the subscribe button so you'll come back for more when I produce more. And if you have...